Welcome to the Mama Bear Den. Remember your headphones. Psst, psst. Wake up, wake up. Please wake up, I'm getting worried about you. Oh, there we go. Thank goodness, I was so worried you wouldn't wake up. You were out for such a very long time. I'm guessing it's because your sleeping schedule is so off. Yeah, that's what I thought. Well, no worries. Take a good look around. You'll have all the time in the world to fix your sleeping schedule now. I have to say, you look pretty calm. For someone who just woke up tied up in my basement, like, I expect you to be fidgeting or screaming or something. Please don't tell me you're used to this. I hope this is the first time this has happened to you. I'd get really jealous if I wasn't the first person to kidnap you. The act is very special to me. Or maybe there's some other reason you're so tame. I don't know your eyes look almost kind of glazed to me. Are you all right? Well, okay. You can tell me about it when you're comfortable. There's no rush. Like I said, we have all the time in the world now. All the time in the world for just you and me and these soundproof walls. Oh, and I'm sorry to say, but... Okay, I'm not sorry. <laughs> but I'll be keeping you here all to myself. How could I not when I'm so madly in love with you? I mean, I made about a thousand alt accounts just so I could give you positive encouragement online without it seeming like it was just all coming from one person. Now that is dedication. Now that I think about it properly, it probably would have been more effective if I didn't tell you that, though. Oh well, too late now. I meant what I said in those comments, so I hope you can take them to heart. But I'm getting off track here. Where was I? I'm sure I had some sort of roadmap for what I wanted to say. Oh, right. Like I was saying, I'll be keeping you here all to myself. You know what that means, right? You'll never be able to see your friends again, but that's okay. You have me now. I'll be sharing your hobbies and whatnot so you don't need friends. What's that? You don't have friends? Holy cow. Well, um, good. Because, like I said, you don't need them. You have me. So, um, yeah. Watching movies together, playing games together, talking to each other, staying up way later than we should. I'll be fulfilling all of those roles for you, so don't worry. Seriously, please don't. But anyway, now that you're here, you won't be seeing your family either. And I won't let you talk to them either. I don't want to leave any sort of trail that can help anyone track us down. So I'm sorry to say, but it looks like they'll be missing you. No, no, that's not true. They would definitely miss you. 
You're so precious and valuable and just a wholesome little treasure. How could they not? They'd be crazier than me to not miss you. Just think about how lonely and empty your home would feel without you. It'd be like a graveyard. You know what? I can prove it. As much as it pains me to use my spying skills and tools on someone other than you, I'll be using them on your family. I'll give you all the recordings and audios of your family members just bawling out their eyes, crying about how much they miss you. That way you can see for yourself just how irreplaceable you are. And at the same time, well... I can't let you communicate with your family for the reasons I said before, but if I spy on them for you, you can see for yourself just how they're doing. You know, like check up on them. <sighs> you have no idea just how precious you really are. You're my wholesome cinnamon bun. Okay, maybe the word wholesome doesn't really sound very convincing coming from me. After all, I did intimidate one of your teachers with anonymous threats into cutting you some slack. But still, you are my cinnamon bun. Don't give me that doubtful look. Here, look into my eyes. Repeat after me. I am a cinnamon bun. Again. Good. Good. And don't forget it. Or I'll... I'll... I'll think of something. <clears throat> I always thought my threats to you would be about not leaving or cheating on me. Not this. You're so wonderful, I just sort of... Assumed you'd see it yourself. You're funny. You're cute. That's not true. You are cute. Cuter than cute. Bunnies and kittens wish upon shooting stars that they were as cute as you. And their wish doesn't come true, obviously, because you are so tremendously cute. You know, when you see something super adorable and you just want to hug it, so hard until its eyes pop out of its sockets. That is how I feel about you. Well, I'll, um... I'll restrain myself, though. Wouldn't want to hurt you. But, um... Okay, how do I say this? I know you can't see it because you're tied to this chair and can't really turn around but the wall behind you is just completely covered with your pictures. I spent a small fortune on ink just to put you all over my wall. Here, I'll show you. Just let me turn you. You know what? Never mind. I'm just going to get you out of those ropes. There we go. And you can turn around and take a look for yourself. See, I wasn't lying. And it's a big wall too, right? It takes a lot of pictures to cover. And there's not a single duplicate, I might add. Would I plaster pictures all over my wall if they weren't of something so overwhelmingly cute. I think not. And there's not just that, but I even kiss the pictures goodnight before I go to bed. It's one of my favorite bedtime routines. Right below listening to the audio I edited of you to make it sound like you were confessing to me. Well, Audios. <laughs> but now that you're out of those ropes, let me take advantage of the opportunity. 
Come here. Give me a hug. You really need one and there's no shame in it. No, you're not disgusting. I'm not going to be grossed out by hugging you. I want to hug you. My arms are wide open, so don't leave me hanging. Come here. Give me a hug. There we go. See, doesn't feel that so much better. <laughs> you might feel like maybe you're getting a bit too clingy, but I'm the one who doesn't want to let go now. Well, I suppose we can't hug forever. Unfortunately, I really would like to just hug you forever since you're so worth it. And don't let me hear you say you're not, because I paid a fortune on kidnapping lessons so I wouldn't mess up kidnapping you. I wouldn't do that for just anyone. Only for someone as breathtakingly stunning like you. Don't ask where I got the lessons. That's a trade secret. <laughs> but while we're on the topic of kidnapping, I wanted to keep you here in my basement just because I love you so much. Seriously, I love, love, love you. I 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 love you, 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 um, anyway, I'm not so sure that imprisonment would be the best for your own mental health, and, gods, I never thought I'd actually be saying this, but just forget about the kidnapping, okay? You can go home if you want. Right now, all that's important is your own well-being, and if you feel that that's better achieved at home, then please, by all means, go home. Or, if you want, you can also stay here in my basement. It'll be like a sleepover. Permanently. Actually, you don't even have to stay in my basement. You can go upstairs too if you want. Won't that be such a nice change of pace? And you can always talk to me. If you stay here with me, we can talk all the time so easily, and even if you go home, I have your number. Well, you might want to unblock my number first. Numbers. But the point is, whenever you feel comfortable opening up to me in more detail, I'm all for it. I know this must all be so heavy for you so I can understand if you need time to process it all. Just know that I'm completely dedicated to making you feel better. And hey, once you do feel better, I can just kidnap you again. Pinky promise. The cat came back the very next recording. The cat came back the next day. The cat came back the very next recording. Meow 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 meow